It's time for the most Buffalo feel good challenge of the day. And today I wanted to know what you're binging. Is it a guilty pleasure? A show you've seen a million times? Something you're hate watching? I'll go first. Matt and I got hooked on the flight attendant. She has a lot of issues, but she's always one step ahead of the FBI, and there's enough mystery and travel to take our minds off of being confined mostly to our house since March. The Crown's getting a lot of love from Mark, Barbara, Nadina, and Denise on Facebook. Cindy found a fellow Below Deck fan on Facebook. She's binge watching all the seasons while watching the latest episodes. Michaela recently watched the entire first season of Emily in Paris. We did two, we did two, that ate up a whole weekend. At Genji here says, for some reason, Breaking Bad comforts me. Let's involve Walt. For Nancy, The Handmaid's Tale and Sons of Anarchy are where it's at. And Jackie's catching up on Cobra Kai before season three comes out. That's one of our favorites too. Checking in with some of the Channel 2 crew, Corinne's Pandemic Project is watching all 31 seasons of The Amazing Race on Amazon Prime. So far, she's watched 16 seasons, and there are a lot of flip phones and questionable fashion choices. Julianne wants to know if anyone's watching The Queen's Gambit. Kim is, and a lot of you are watching it too. And just as many of you are finding comfort in the classics. You go on ahead and do just what? Tom says he'll watch an old movie like Moonstruck. Matt's re-watching every episode of The West Wing. Michael is checking out The Sopranos for the first time. And Steph is spending time in Stars Hollow. You bought a small town in... But the most popular binge-worthy show by far, according to your responses today, is Schitt's Creek. More people are now discovering the Canadian series after its sweep at the Emmys. Rose says it's light and funny, which we need now. Marissa is re-watching it, and Stephanie's watching it for a third time. Courtney says it's one of the best series she's ever watched. And our kittens Gabby and Sage are also big fans. We caught them watching The Crowening on Cat TV this weekend, but we didn't see Moira Rose in our Buffalo version. Thank you so much for hanging out with us for Most Buffalo. I'll see you tomorrow morning on Midday. Scott and Mary Alice are up next, first at 5.